Hobby people, I'm back with another video and today I want to do a quick review on a nail lamp um, that I recently purchased. So I've always gotten questions about what nail lamp I use um, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I use a pretty basic nail lamp and this is the nail lamp that I use. I got this lamp that was included in um, a Beatles nail polish kit or gel polish kit that was like $25 like about two years ago. And I'll be honest with you guys, this is actually the nail lamp that I use most frequently. And I've actually been searching for another one because I'm nervous that I, if this one goes out, um, you know, I just want to make sure I have the replacement for it. But you guys can see this mug is loved, used, and abused. It actually doesn't come with a base, but... In place of my base, I just have used my like gel polish. Well, this is actually an old envelope, I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> and I just cut it out and then I just put, you know, it down. That way I don't get my nail desk dirty. But I just wanted to show you guys the nail lamp that I'm using. And then I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the nail lamp that I just purchased because it's kind of the exact same model. So if you all are interested in getting the nail lamp that I'm using on a more frequent basis, um, this is available. But yeah, you guys, I feel like I've been on like a nail lamp frenzy lately. I've just gotten so many nail lamps. And I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. Do you guys have that where you like go through phases of like being obsessed with like certain nail supplies? Like right now I'm obsessed with nail lamps. You know, a couple weeks ago I was obsessed with like nail drills. Weeks before that I was obsessed with gel polish kits. It's so funny. But anywho, I'm on my nail lamp phase. Got a couple more nail lamp reviews coming out if they're not already out already. But yeah, I want to show you all this nail lamp here so I actually purchased this from Amazon I got it during um, Black Friday and it was only eight dollars um, and so I thought it would be great to have this as just as a backup to my original lamp um, and I will go ahead and leave it linked down below I think rec regular price is 15 bucks which is still not bad for this lamp because like I said it's tried and true I've had this for two years and it's still going strong so um, let me go ahead and open up this model for you guys so this is how it comes packaged and it's a pretty you know basic nail lamp you guys but it's powerful and it works really good okay so here is the nail lamp and um included in here is also the instructions so you want to make sure you go through and read the instructions and then the charger comes with it as well let's go ahead and take the charger out so same charger as my old one this is the model of the lamp and yeah you guys when i say it's like the exact dupe of my beetles lamp I was so excited to find <laughs> the exact same um, lamp because I really, really love this lamp. Like I said, I've been using it for well over two years. It's tried and true. But yeah, the exact same model, exact same design. You all know, can see same opening, the same you know number of LED lights and things like that. Same port in the back. So yeah, it's just a dupe of my original lamp. But um, yeah, it comes with... It comes with 30 LED lights. Um, it is a 24 watt lamp and honestly it's powerful enough to do everything that I need it to do. Um, I've done builder gel nails, I've done regular gel nails, um, I've done gel X nails in this. Um, you know, one way, in case you guys haven't seen this hack before, is I take one of these and I put it underneath here and then I, you know, can do gel X under here if I wanted to or sometimes I'll Put it under both and then i could do gel x easily or if i want to just cure my thumb i'll do it on one side and then just slide my hand underneath here so this lamp has actually it's been tried and true for me and it's also nice because it's a really small footprint um it's small but it's still spacious enough to fit you know your whole your whole hand in here so enough of me yapping let me go ahead and plug this bad boy in so you guys can see how bright it is and how good it works Alrighty, so i got it plugged in and it does this thing where it kind of cycles through all the lights. So this one, it has an on off button. Okay. It has the 30 second timer, a 60 second timer and 120 second timer. So I love that it has all these power options. So this is a 48 watt lamp. I think I said earlier it was 24 watts. So sorry about that. This lamp is 48 watts. Okay. And it's super powerful, really nice to cure what I needed to cure. And so, yeah, as you can, so yeah, this is how bright the lights are here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on here. But yeah, this is how bright the lights are. And you guys, when I say this thing cures so well, like, like I said, I've not had any issues from this nail lamp. And it's very spacious. It can fit like long nails and short nails in here. Um, I've done extra, extra long nails in here. And I've never had it hit the back of the lamp. So 
Um, yeah, I have a, I've had a really, really good experience with this nail lamp. It's something that I do highly recommend. Like I said, my old Beatles lamp, I've been using it for ages and I absolutely love it. But I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cure test for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch out um, a black gel polish. Uh, one of my subscribers recommended that when I do reviews on nail lamps, that I should cure black gel polish because um, it'll show how strong the lamp is because black is typically harder to cure. So I thought that was a great suggestion. So thank you for that. But yeah, I'm going to do just a quick layer of some black gel polish here to see how it cures. Cure it for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so the nail just finished curing. And yeah, y'all, perfect cure, right? Like, again, I really don't have any issues with this nail lamp, D, that it's did it cure all the way? Hmm. Well, that's interesting actually. I do see here that the gel is poking through, but that's weird. I've never had any issues with this nail lamp before though. You all can see up here it's cured, but at the bottom, I guess it didn't cure all the way. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've never had any issues with this nail lamp, so. Yeah, let me just cure another color just to show you guys. Like, maybe it's just the black. Okay, I'm gonna cure for another 60 seconds. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the orange cured. As y'all can see, it cured beautifully. So yeah, I really, really love this lamp. Um, it's weird that black didn't cure all the way. I'm thinking it didn't cure all the way because maybe I applied it too thick because back here it did cure. So yeah, this is a really amazing lamp though. I absolutely love this lamp. The only downfall, like I said, is that it doesn't come with the base, but um, all you need to do is put down a piece of paper, a piece of cardboard, whatever, so it doesn't mess up your nail desk. So yeah, I am gonna leave this product link down in the description box below. I'll also leave the link to the kit where I got my original uh, Beatles lamp from. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention too that the name of this brand is Cure DN. And another thing I wanted to mention too that I like about this lamp is that, is that it remembers the, the last setting that you cured your nails on. So if you last cured it on 60, it comes back to 60. If you put it on 30, it'll come back to 30. So I really like that it remembers whatever your last setting was. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this out on my nail desk and I'm gonna put it here in the corner because I have one. I'm gonna put it here on the right side of my desk because I already have one on the left side of my desk. And so now when I'm filming and curing, I don't have to go put both of my hands on one side. I could just reach around. I could just cure very easily. So yeah, I was really stoked, really excited to find this lamp, especially at such a great price. Like I said, I paid eight bucks for it, but I think it's normally um, it normally retails for 15 bucks, which is still, when I say not a bad price for the quality of this lamp, highly, highly recommend. I hope you all enjoyed this review. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!